Here are the most recent deaths in the national news, as reported at Legacy.com, the second week of April 2023. Legacy.com is where you can find any obituary or publish an obituary in any newspaper in America and beyond. Actor Michael Lerner died April 8, 2023, at the age of 81. He was Oscar-nominated for his performance as movie mogul Jack Lipnick in Barton Fink. Lerner is being remembered for his prolific acting career, with roles in movies including Elf, Harlem Nights, and Eight Men Out. Actress and singer Lynette Dupree Richardson died February 6, 2023, in Los Angeles at the age of 58. Her death was recently reported. She was best known for her work in musical theater, touring with shows including The Color Purple, Dreamgirls, and Josephine. Dupree Richardson is also being remembered for roles on TV shows including Desperate Housewives and The Good Place. Musician Vivian Trimble died April 4, 2023, of cancer at the age of 59. She was the keyboardist and backing vocalist for Luscious Jackson, known for their 90s alternative hits including Naked Eye. Trimble is being remembered for the effortlessly cool music she helped make. Musician John Regan died April 7, 2023, at his home in Wappingers Falls, New York, at the age of 71. He was a longtime bassist with Peter Frampton's band, who recorded and toured with Frampton for decades. Regan is also being remembered for playing on the Mick Jagger and David Bowie hit Dancing in the Street, as well as with musicians like Ace Frehley, Billy Idol, and David Lee Roth. Singer and actor Paul Cattermole died April 6, 2023, at his home in Dorset, England, at the age of 46. He was a member of the British pop group S Club 7, known for hits in the late 1990s and early 2000s, including Never Had a Dream Come True. Cattermole is also being remembered for starring with his bandmates in the TV show Miami 7, also known as S Club 7 in Miami. Musician Kid Jordan died April 7, 2023, at the age of 87. He was a jazz saxophone player who accompanied artists including Aretha Franklin, Ray Charles, Stevie Wonder, and R.E.M. Jordan is being remembered for teaching great jazz musicians such as Wynton and Branford Marsalis and Donald Harrison. Actress Elizabeth Hubbard died April 8, 2023, at her home in Roxbury, Connecticut. She died of cancer at the age of 89. She starred on As the World Turns for decades, playing businesswoman Lucinda Walsh. Hubbard is also being remembered for starring on The Doctors, as well as playing roles in a variety of other soap operas. Lawyer Ben Ferenz died April 7, 2023, at an assisted living facility in Boynton Beach, Florida, at the age of 103. He was the last surviving prosecutor from the Nuremberg trials, during which Nazis were brought to justice for their crimes against humanity in World War II. He is being remembered for his lifelong quest to create a more just world in which war criminals answer for their crimes. Ferenz was a U.S. Army veteran of World War II, where his work included visiting liberated concentration camps and collecting evidence of war crimes. Cartoonist Al Jaffe died April 10, 2023, at a hospital in New York City. He died of multiple organ failure at the age of 102. He drew cartoons for Mad Magazine from the 1950s until recent years. He was especially known for his fold-ins, drawings that revealed a hidden picture and message when folded. He is also being remembered for features including snappy answers to stupid questions and his elaborate drawings of inventions and gadgets. Jaffe was a U.S. Army veteran of World War II. Musician Lassa Wellander died April 7, 2023, of cancer at the age of 70. 
He played guitar with ABBA for many years. His work can be heard on hits including Knowing Me, Knowing You, Take a Chance on Me, and The Name of the Game. Wellander is also being remembered for playing on the soundtracks to the movie Mamma Mia and its sequel. Singer and actor Julian Figueroa died April 9, 2023 in Mexico City. He died of a heart ailment at the age of 27. He was known for ballads including Ay Amor and Volare, as well as for his work in telenovelas. Figueroa is also being remembered as the son of the late singer Juan Sebastián. Musician Ian Berenson died April 7, 2023, after fighting dementia at the age of 69. He was a guitarist in the Alan Parsons Project, playing memorable solos on songs such as Eye in the Sky and Games People Play. Berenson is also being remembered as a member of Pilot, playing on singles including Magic, as well as for his iconic guitar solo on Kate Bush's debut single, Wuthering Heights. Fashion designer Mary Quant died April 13, 2023, at her home in Surrey, England, at the age of 93. She was an icon of the swinging 60s, who dressed England's mod young women at her London boutique, Bazaar. Quant is being remembered for popularizing daring styles like the miniskirt and hot pants. Best-selling crime novelist Anne Perry died April 10, 2023, after a hospital stay at the age of 84. In 1954, when she was 15 years old, she and her best friend murdered the friend's mother. The story was dramatized in the 1994 movie Heavenly Creatures. After serving time in prison, she adopted the name Anne Perry and went on to a prolific writing career. She is being remembered for her Thomas Pitt and William Monk series of detective novels. At Legacy.com, any family can publish an obituary in honor of a loved one's memory, online and in local newspapers everywhere. Just visit Legacy.com and select your local community. On Monday, April 10, 2023, Five people were killed in a shooting at a bank in downtown Louisville, Kentucky. Their names are Josh Barrick, Deanna Eckert, Tommy Elliott, Juliana Farmer, Jim Tut Jr. Every week in the United States, flags are lowered to half staff to honor the lives of Americans whose communities are mourning their loss. Here are the most recent half staff memorial flag honors. Flags in Kentucky have been lowered to honor the memory of the victims of violence perpetrated on the morning of April 10th in Louisville. Flags in West Virginia have been lowered to honor the memory of Upshur County Sheriff Virgil Douglas Skipper Miller. Flags in Alabama have been lowered to honor the memory of Lifesaver 4 crew members Mark Gann and Adam Russell, who died in the line of duty. Flags in Iowa have been lowered to honor the memory of Willard Sandy Boyd, former president of the University of Iowa. Flags in Arkansas have been lowered to honor the memory of Senator Roy C. Bill Llewellyn. Flags in Michigan have been lowered to honor the memory of U.S. Army soldier Braden Robert Peltier. Flags in Illinois have been lowered to honor the memory of Lieutenant John Torek of the Chicago Fire Department. This week also marks several notable anniversaries. Five years ago this week, former First Lady Barbara Bush died at the age of 92. The wife of President George H.W. Bush, she focused on family literacy during her time in the White House. Twenty years ago this week, musician and civil rights activist Nina Simone died at the age of 70. She was known for accompanying herself on piano as she sang songs including I Loves You Porgy and Mississippi Goddamn. 25 years ago this week, photographer and musician Linda McCartney died at the age of 56. She played keyboards in the band Wings with her husband, Paul McCartney of the Beatles, and she was a prominent animal rights activist. 
45 years ago this week, singer Sandy Denny died at the age of 31. She was the lead singer of the influential folk rock band Fairport Convention. Actress Elizabeth Montgomery was born 90 years ago this week. She died in 1995 at the age of 62. She was best known for starring as Samantha Stevens in the classic sitcom Bewitched. Actress Jane Mansfield was born 90 years ago this week. She died in 1967 at the age of 34. She starred in Broadway and movie musicals, including Will Success Spoil Rock Hunter and The Girl Can't Help It. Dancer and actress Ann Miller was born 100 years ago this week. She died in 2004 at the age of 80. She starred in classic movie musicals, including Easter Parade and Kiss Me Kate. Musician Tito Puente was born 100 years ago this week. He died in 2000 at the age of 77. He was a legend of Latin jazz who played the timbales and vibraphone. There are many more celebrity anniversaries this week, and we pay tribute to them in our new Tuesday video series, Death Anniversaries. You can read more about the lives of the people featured in this video on Legacy.com. You can also follow Legacy.com on Facebook and subscribe to our channel on YouTube to stay up to date on national news deaths.